Get this one underway. First pitch off the mark. Had a two for four day yesterday with that big home run. A pair of RBIs. Going to ground it up the third. It's going to get all over Makarevich. And Green will cruise into second base. He's got a 2-1 count here. He's going to shoot it through the six hole. Peyton Green's going to round third. The throw comes in, is cut off, and the Jackets take a one-run lead. And right on cue, firm line drive to the six hole. Jones does go. Throw down to second is not in time. Swiped by Cam Jones. He's getting pitched backwards a lot. Runner goes to third, and it's going right to Makarevich, and the tag is made for the double play. Well, you couldn't have drawn that up any better for Whitaker. Yeah, Cam Jones trying to take the bag at third. Hard line drive. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good if you're NC State. That's going to be their game today. And Luke Nixon has just crushed one. Out of here. That was a monster shot for the freshman. Yeah, and I, I, I think he knew it when he hit it. Uh, <laughs> It was either that or it was going to be foul. I wasn't sure he, yep. he, which one. But and that's you know with a guy for a little slight of frame, a lot of juice in his swing. Really compact swing, left-handed hitter. We've talked about how lefties, how it plays here. You can see, yeah, got that one good. Kept it fair down the line. Really good swing right there by the freshman. All right, tie game here. Any extension? He got an extension there. He's going to drive it back. It's going to go. Oh, I didn't think it was going to get there, but it sure did. Home yeah. run by Burris. We just got done saying you don't want to let him get his arms extended. Tries to go off speed pitch. Whitaker gets under it a little bit. And because of that, it floats in the top of the strike zone. And when you do that to Drew Burris, you're doing him a favor. He lets that ball get deep, stays back on it, and he gets extended. Just a low line drive that kept climbing. Definitely hit it hard enough. The question was going to be, was it, did it have enough as far as distance? Sure enough, dead center it did. 12th home run of the season. Yeah. And the first pitch seen by Cozarts dropped in the left field for a single. 2-2. Two -two. Going to be fisted center field. No one's going to get there. So two hits for the Wolfpack just dropping in perfectly. Got runners at first and second with nobody out. Whoa, he's gone. Now there's no doubt about that when he plunks him there. Yeah, yeah, and that's Serrano. It doesn't have to be the nastiest, but I want to get in the strike zone here. Like you said, nowhere to put him. And ball four. So a run is walked in. And try and get some weak contact and roll a double play. First pitch, there it is, rolled up the first baseline. Tricky play here. And the play at first, they're going to say that he had the ball and it was the transfer where it got away. So a run will score. Here's Nixon. That's going to be fisted green on to first. Second out is recorded. This is a huge out. Here's Hogue. First pitch he sees. He's going to send it towards the gap. And a catch by Burris. He chases it down in left center field and puts it away for the final out. Wow. Full Olympic weight room. It's just, and that goes to show you, as you see a single over to the right side there in the shift. Goes to show you the commitment that these schools are given to college baseball now as, as the footprint continues to grow. I'm okay if, if, if you want to nitpick and put them on. And can't get it to go. That one's too far inside. And it's going to be rolled over to first. Bobbled by Jones. All he has to do is step on the bag. We get into the back half is enormous. Yep, and that's going to scoot under the glove of Curse. Two runs will score. Big error there for the third baseman for Georgia Tech, and it's a 6-2 lead for the Wolfpack. One ball, two strike count to Butterworth, and he's going to go down swinging. Cavalla gets the strikeout, but two more runs are scored by the Wolfpack. Obviously, he wants to make up for it, it's, and that's the. It's funny how baseball goes, right? Yeah. It's, of course, he's hitting next. And there he goes. He's going to send one deep to right. And he's made amends for there with a solo shot. His second home run of the season in his college career and the weekend. Well, it certainly helps. It yeah. certainly helps. <laughs>
And no that's doubt. Gotta feel good. No doubt. Yeah. No. And it's and we've we've been talking about it from the offensive side. That's what's going to come for him. The more he plays, and it's uh, gets a fastball out and up. It looks like Whitaker provides most of the power there. You know, and all Curse has to do is get extended and let let the right field jet stream. He got a good piece of it, but when you get it up in the air to right field, surprise, it wasn't a called strike. That one bounces up there. Hitters three and four. Hit the other way into left field. Younger is not going to get there. A little bloop hit there by Hogue. Florida State transfer, and there's ball four. 2-0, now's grounded. Play second on to first, and that's a double play. Barfield comes in. You can see the bullpens. And as you say that, Bichetti's going to send one to right. Going to be at the wall. What a catch. Wow. Souls goes back, and it lifts his glove. What a play, yeah. I'm not so sure that wouldn't have, if we can get a look, I think that might have gone out, yeah. Yeah, he brought that yeah, back, yeah, wow. That's, that's a run-saving grab and, and really nice play. Here's Eli Serrano. He's gonna bunt, fielded by Barfield, and then he just kind of bobbles it. Tried to rush it. I don't know if they ruled yeah, it. Yeah, they did give him a single, and that ball's gonna be sent to left all the way against the shift. Serrano play at the plate. He's safe, and it's a triple. Serrano, who runs well enough, is able to score, score from first, and that's the difference. You know, that's just winning baseball right there. It's, yeah. it's a really good, that's the difference in them catching some breaks and then taking advantage of it today, especially against Georgia Tech's potent offense. Every run matters, right? So the difference between seven to three and six to three. Ben King warming in the Jackets bullpen, and that ball's gonna be lifted into right but not very deep and brocious. That's the way it goes, huh? And that's gonna come inside, and I don't think it hit him. I think it was ball four. Yeah. Have yet to see the breaker. 2-1. Ball's lifted to center field. Back goes the ball. It's out of here. And I had just said we hadn't seen the breaker yet. I thought he might go to it 2-1. If he gives Burris a chance to see the fastballs over and over, if Burris is going to get it timed up, it's just a matter of if he can get a good one to get a swing on. 2-1 count. He goes with that firm fastball in the middle of the plate. And velocity is never going to be a problem for Drew Burris. Lightning quick hands. Gets all of this one to dead center. Think he might have known it? Yeah. <laughs> that ball was crushed, and he got a chance to watch it. These Georgia Tech fans are fired up. First home run given up. And ball four. So now it gets interesting, right? Tying run comes to the plate. And the dirt gets away from Cozart. Ellis down to second. Slides in safely. Or are you going to spike it like that? Stay within your delivery. 3-2, ball four high. Back-to-back -back walks after the home run. They need a base hit here. That ball's popped up. Pennington behind first base, having some trouble with it, but he'll make the catch for the final out. Ball's lifted to left. Younger comes in, Green goes out. Younger's gonna make the play. 2-2. Two -two. Chopper eats up Nixon. And he ain't gonna get there, nope. Big slide there for Cam Jones. And you had, you had a feeling when Penn, Pennington bobbled it and it kicked to his right. A line out and a double play. And that's gonna be ball four. Great at bat by Brocious. Pitch, one, two. Or otherwise, and I right. think he's, he's out there to ride with them. There is some action in the pin, but this is their guy. Two twos lifted to right. And that ball is, that ball's out of here! Zamar's back! Hits the home run and puts the jackets on top. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> you could almost feel a pin drop while, while it waited in the balance. Anything can happen when you get that ball out to right field, right? He gets a ball. He's so strong and has the leverage, you just got to touch it. 
it almost looks like a pop if you can see he's yeah. tracing it. And then right about here, you, you start to think, no way is this gonna push out. Runs out of real estate. And you can see the Georgia Tech dugout just absolutely electric right here. What a swing by Zmarzlak. Next thing you know, as it stands right now, the, the big backbreaker, I think when he looks back on this outing, it might be that 2-1 fastball. Shot to center. That he threw to Burris and another one right there. It's That he'll look back on and maybe want that 2-1 that fastball that Burris hit out to cut it to a two-run deficit back. Ball's lifted. Center field. Serrano catches it for out number three. So Marslak rounded the bases. So did Reese Hunter. And the ball shot to Cam Jones. Put another three and assisted in the books. Brett Thomas through this ninth inning. Protect this one run lead. Shift on for Cozart and it goes right to Jones. Cozart slams his bat into the ground. We'll see if he goes to that bigger breaking ball. He's got two swing and miss on it. In there, strike three called Thomas. And the Jackets have the victory. Eight, seven.